a common phrase we find in the free will debate is could have done otherwise. When we say someone could have done otherwise, what we mean is the person could choose. The person was then free. So if I say I could have done other than uh, go to work today, it means that I was free to do something other than go to work. Let's think about what the determinist says about could have done otherwise. The determinist says no one ever could have done otherwise, right? No one could ever have done otherwise. No one will ever be able to do something else. The past and the laws of nature dictate everything that's going to happen. So no one could have ever done otherwise. There isn't any freedom. As we will see, okay, think about the libertarian. We're going to talk about them in a few minutes, but what does the libertarian say about could have done otherwise? Well, they say we can. Sometimes people could have done otherwise. Our libertarian, metaphysical, remember, libertarian says sometimes people have the freedom to choose, probably more often than not. That doesn't mean that people aren't going to be compelled. You're, you know, you might get stuck in traffic. You might get sick and you can't leave the bathroom. Nonetheless, more often than not, you could have done otherwise. So what does the compatibilist say about could have done otherwise? The compatibilist offers up what we call a conditional analysis or a hypothetical analysis of could have done otherwise. What this means is when we say could have done otherwise, we are actually using shorthand for something much longer. Okay, anytime I say could have done otherwise, what that means is an agent would have done otherwise if she or he had wanted to do otherwise. Okay, so I could have done other than come to class today or go to work today or worn jeans today. What does that mean according to the compatibilist? What it means is, if I had wanted to do other than wear jeans today, I would have done other than wear jeans today. Provided I can say that, I'm free, okay? So an agent would have done something different if the agent wanted to, okay? So I would have done something else if I'd wanted to. I went to work today, but if I'd wanted to do something other than go to work, I would have done something other, go, other than go to work. The compatibilist thinks about it like this. If you wanted to do something else, but you could not have done it, it's because there's an obstacle in your way. There's, there's, something compelling you to act. Well, if there's something compelling you, if you're constrained, you're not free. So if you'd wanted to do something else, and thus you would have, you must not be constrained. I showed up to work late. Well, if I'd wanted to do something other than show up to work late, I would have. Is that true? Yeah. I decided I didn't need to come in right away. I worked until midnight last night, and so I didn't have to be here first thing in the morning, so I came in late, right? That's one scenario where it seems like I freely came in late. Hopefully a scenario that would keep somebody from being in trouble for coming in to work late. But now consider if I'd wanted to do something else than come in to work late, I still couldn't have because I got stuck in a traffic jam because 
some moron ran a red light and plowed into somebody else and I was stuck in sitting still as a result of the accident for an hour and a half. Even if I had wanted to be on time, I could not have been on time. I did want to be on time, but I couldn't do it because I was compelled. That takes away my freedom, the compatibilist says. So basically, the compatibilist tells us that determinism and free will are consistent if the definition of freedom means that one is not constrained, okay? I can, I, I, determinism can be true and free will can exist when free will means not constrained. Does that make sense?